today on The Real. Our Real Housewives of Atlanta week is on with Phaedra Parks. When you are giving out the right energy, it's gonna come back to you. On Girl Chat, the worst places to take selfies. Where's the worst place you've ever taken a selfie, Tamara? On the toilet. <laughs> oh, Tamara! Plus, we're no fakes, but some of these are. It's time to play fake it or take it. We gotta do this, you guys are feeling it! Then Jeezy stops by, and this Halloween, go all out. We're showing you how to haunt your house. I think we've created a monster. Yes, we have. The real. This is our of Atlanta Takeover at The Real, and we've had co-hosts all week from the hit Bravo show, and today we're welcoming Miss Phaedra Park. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Of course. Phaedra, you have two very handsome sons. I and do. Aiden, you have an Aiden oh, like me. That's right. And Dylan, they are so cute. Oh so my cute. God. Right? They're beautiful. Oh, so thank beautiful. Thank you. And they're really smart little boys. Oh. Well, Halloween's around the corner. Mm -hmm. Do you have their costumes picked out yet? Well, you know, last year, my Mr. President, which is the baby, he had a Halloween <laughs> meltdown. Okay. So this year, he said he's gone as a plant. He wants to be a plant? He says, I just want to be a plant. No one will have my costume if I'm a plant. So How I'm old is he? Three. And at three, he he's just, he's saying, you know what he wants to be? <laughs> oh, that God. is so really? cute. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's the most original that idea awesome. I've ever. I love that he wants to be a plant, though. That's so cute. <laughs> that is great. Now, Phaedra, you're in the process of finalizing your divorce. Mm -hmm. um, are you ready for a new relationship? Well, you know, I'm not man crazy, but, mm -hmm. you know, and I've... Anyone that knows me and watches our show knows I have several jobs. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. You know, so. Yes. But what's most important is being a great mother, and I know that um, whoever dates me has to date my two sons as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just got to make sure, you know, I'm not opposed to dating, but I want to make sure it's the right man, a God-fearing man, someone yes. that will love them That's as right. much as me. That's so I'm, so I'm going to take have... my time. Yes. That's good. Okay, Phaedra, so we all know from the show that you are also a mortician. Yes. yes. Girl, are I think that is cold? the coolest thing. Ever. It's, it's fascinating. It I really have so is. many questions. Go ahead, girl. Okay, <laughs> so I heard, I asked you about this one, yeah. Adrian. Mm -hmm. I heard that there are people who like to, um, I don't know what, what it's called, like taxidermy humans and put them in the house. Oh my is goodness. That, you know about this? Is that legal? Did you do it? Well, I think you mean like people that want to be embalmed and like position standing up that on works. a motorcycle and yes, like, doing yes. very odd things. This oh is, my this gosh. Is very popular. Like that. Yes. This That's is very like popular with my people in Puerto Rico. I'm just saying, <laughs> like this is a big thing over there. Like they do people standing in the corners on motorcycles. Yes, on motorcycles. Yeah, in the corner Tell of a ring. Tell us about this. Wait, so how? That's a funeral. Well, now, now, now oh. I don't do that kind of wild stuff. Now. Okay. 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 <laughs> I like to keep it simple, but I, I, you know, to me, funerals is that's the final party. Okay. I, you know, it's home going celebration. So yeah. I like to make people look good, like mm -hmm. give you a nice beat, some beautiful wow. so wait, some lashes. Wait a oh. You do the makeup. Oh, most so I didn't know if you were just like oh, embalming, wow. but you actually do I, the beauty. I can do it all. Wow. wow. I do, do lashes. Embalming, lashes, nails, makeup, oh, dressing. Nails. Yeah. Wait. Can I go to you when? Sure, of course. Oh my God, I want to That's so morbid and weird. Get you together, okay, wait, I, I don't know about I, you, but I want to look fly when I get I know that's right. Oh, no, I want to yes. know, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I want to know what is the weirdest thing that has happened being a mortician that you've seen? Well, you know, it's never any, I mean, everybody's quiet. You know. <laughs> um, you know. It's no. a dead business. Exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
nobody, you know, there's no complaints, but I don't, you know, it's so peaceful. I don't think it is, because I love it so much, mm -hmm. it's never weird to me. You know, yeah, people are okay. like, oh, did someone sit up? I'm like, only if you drop them up, them up too much, you know? Right. You know, so if you, you're doing what you're supposed to do and everything's right, uh -huh. You know, you might get someone past a little gas. But... That's okay. Oh, wait, I've heard about wait, that. That yes. would scare the bejesus out of me. Dead people can <laughs> fart? Yes, I went to a funeral. Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. And wait, they passed gas in, in the, the casket? casket? In the casket. No, passing gas. Well, yeah, people... What does it sound like? Like a fart, girl. <laughs> like their body is still doing some things. There was some air left in there. Yeah, you you have a final, you know, release a of final release everything. of toxins. I guess if everything. you're about to go, you just let it go. <laughs> I have a question. What have you learned about living being around the dead? Well, I think you realize when you see people come in there from all walks of life. Yeah. Young, old rich, poor, you know, you realize how important every day is because yeah. you don't know when you're gonna yeah. take your last breath. Wow. You know, so you gotta make sure I you're that. treating people right and you eulogize yourself every day by your actions and your words, Ooh, you know. You, amen to you're, that. You eulogize yourself right now by what you do. Wow. And with that, so, we've yeah. gotta get into the Deep. moment. Are you ready for some girl chat? I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Justin Timberlake made headlines after taking a selfie in his Tennessee voting booth. Now, apparently, taking photos inside polling places is prohibited in that state and is punishable by up to 30 days in jail and a $50 wow. fine. Now, what Justin did clearly was not breaking the law because the Shelby County DA assured the public huh. that this was just a big misunderstanding. You know, mm. don't go cry river. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was good, Lonnie. That was okay. good. Yeah. And Timberlake isn't in any, any real trouble, but it brings up the bigger issue mm -hmm. that, you know, People are taking selfies everywhere. everywhere. Oh and there are definitely places where it's inappropriate. You Funerals. know? Funerals. Yeah. Funerals. Yes. Yes. I've seen that. I've seen that. I even saw somebody put the Snapchat filter crown on somebody in a casket. Oh. Like this. Oh. Like two of them with. Oh, you guys never saw that? Oh. No. Not the, not the crown. Not girl, the crown. you know how now the crown is double, so it's just not you, but you and your girl could both be flower children? Right, right. So they did a selfie, which then became a ussy with the person in the casket, <laughs> and they put the flower crown, and it made, Were know. they smiling in the selfie? <laughs> well, they were. Uh, Obviously. The, the other person not, was right. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That like is that. insane. They was glowing, though. Crazy. You know how that one yeah. does you right. So. You know, yeah. though, I feel Justin, because I, I, I get in the moment, and I love capturing moments. I would be that girl who would get in trouble, probably, for taking a selfie, because you... I don't a know, funeral? Like, no. <laughs> I, no, like Justin in a voting oh. booth, for sure. Like, okay, you remember when we went to the White House, you guys? Yes. Yeah. And they told us not to take pictures. Yes. yes. Did you break that rule? Yes. Girl, yes. I might have a back in the White House. I was this one. that moment. <laughs> and they were telling us, like, put the cameras away. And yeah, now were... they're really not going to invite you back because you just said on national television <laughs> that you don't follow rules. It was a small one. I didn't post it, but I just got a little one for me like this. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> oh, I have to. I have to capture the moment. You guys aren't like that, though? I don't like when people take selfies in the bathroom. I mean, that I don't like true. I know. Wait, wait. But Even when the lighting's the lighting. really oh. nice. Yes. No, but oh, you just can't elevation. see the toilet. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I mean. mean. Yeah. That's gross. Sometimes yeah. the vanity lighting, I mean, that's that's mm -hmm. really pretty. Yeah. What if you I don't see, the see the stall? The no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't like nothing no. with the waste. Yeah, I don't like that. Where's the worst place you've ever taken a selfie, Tamara? On the toilet. when people take selfies well, in the I bathroom. Learned, so I, I just learned. take them on the toilet. I know, I learned from experience. I actually had Aiden on my lap. You know oh, when you have kids, they don't yeah. give you a break. They don't. But he looked really, really cute, so he was sitting on my lap, and I was like, oh, let me take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't do it anymore. So no. you had your phone in the toilet? Yes, doesn't everybody? Yeah. Oh, I've been scrolling through Instagram. <laughs> yep. No. It's like the new newspaper. I know, yep. you're not supposed to. That's what they say. Why? Because lots of germs, germs can get on the phone. Yeah. Oh, you guys in the toilet. Yeah, you know. No, it's what the truth. Just, what yeah. you just said, though, Adrian, that it's like the new newspaper. Yeah. Anybody else, when they go to the toilet but they forget their phone somewhere, as soon as you sit down, you're like that face right there, what you just did. Yeah. Yeah. You, you literally go, damn. <laughs> 
and you think yeah. about how much you want to hurry because you wish you had your phone because otherwise you'd be like, yeah. <laughs> 100%. You don't take your phone with you to the bathroom? I try not to. No. Really? I want to have a, you know, I think people have went selfie crazy. That and people true. are not just being able to enjoy living. Right. You know, because you're true. always so concerned about social media. Like, yeah. Did y'all see DJ Khaled in the, the oh, delivery yes. room? Oh, yes! Oh, my God. I, I heard about Ooh. it, but I didn't get to watch it. He, uh, like, go ahead. It Tell was me. really, a, it was, I guess, I don't know, sweet, but he was taking selfies and in Snapchatting the, the whole time. Was, yeah. Legs oh, spread, no. having a baby. I'm like, no. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, like, you he could was, hear, he like, was one, two, three, <laughs> like, yeah, he yeah. Was no, her leg was spread eagle up yeah. in the air, and Ooh. he going, and another one. That's what he... <laughs> 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 you got mad jokes today. That's, That's really good, like, like, I, I think you're three for three. <laughs> That's I'm amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, okay. A, a place that you'll see a lot of inappropriate selfies mm -hmm. is on dating apps. Really? Right? Yes, because one dating app, Hinge, has a new feature that people are talking about. The app changed some stuff around recently, and now preferences allow you to filter out race as a factor in finding your future mate. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this is a little crazy. If you're that firm on races that you want or don't want, you can even click a box that says it's a deal breaker based on their race. Mm, okay. I know, right, right. So I know it's good to know what you're looking for when it comes to dating. Some people know exactly what they're looking for. But if you narrow your field, especially with race, couldn't it be possible that you could be missing out on the soulmate of your life? Or sure. Three. Right? Or I Lonnie. 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 What? what? Your face. What? What are you thinking? No, I'm just thinking about the other person. I'm not thinking about the person that's looking. I'm thinking about the person, not the person that's searching. I'm thinking about the person that's looking, like that's the getting, recipient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the you person know? that's getting hacked out. Right. It's yeah. like, I don't know, in a way, because I am single, if I, if I go on a dating app, I would like to know if you don't want to date a sister or if you don't want to date somebody, because then that, that way you ain't wasting my time and I ain't got to worry about it. Right. You gotta speak on you it. See what I'm saying? Or have you ever met somebody that you like, I'm looking for a brother? Yeah. Right. You and know? then you can specify that yeah. if that's yeah. really what you're looking for. Or if you ain't looking for a plus size woman, or if you ain't looking for a thin man, or, if, okay. or I ain't looking for a broke man, so let's put that in there. <laughs> The only thing is, though, don't, don't you think, though, that when you rule out an entire race, you're basing it off of whatever it is you think you know about that entire race. Therefore, you're missing out on an entire culture yeah. that is, could be really enlightening to your life. I agree, but true. what if it's just based on looks? Yeah, you just... What if it's just based on looks? What but if not all people head, in that have... race look the same? Agreed, but what if somebody yeah. has it in their head that they would like to date somebody of their same race. Exactly. Or like, I mean, you know, I yeah. would like to date, you know, a black man, or I would like yeah. to date a Latino. What if someone in your mm -hmm. race was like, I would yeah. really love to date another Vietnamese man? Yes. I guess for me, part, part of what I think is really hot I about get what you're saying. is their culture. Like, the way somebody was brought up, the languages they may speak, the way they think, I think that's so sexy in somebody. That is true. I that is like true. That. But sometimes, if we're just being real, yep. you can't Be help real. who you are attracted to. Exactly. Right. So, exactly. I do agree with what Lonnie said. If you're not attracted to this, please don't, yeah. don't waste my time. What? But I dated all the colors of the rainbow. Oh, that's right. And I would have... <laughs> And I would have never the rainbow. Yeah, um, I would have never met Adam if if I thought like that. Yeah. And I, I actually recently told one of my girlfriends this because obviously I'm getting married, and they were like, "Oh my God, you know, how do you find love?" And I said, I told my girlfriends, I, I do Airbnb, and you know how they have the filters on mm -hmm. top, and you get to pick like how many bathrooms you want, how many bedrooms you need, to, should the place have a pool, should it not? And I told my friend, I'm like, girl, you need to change your filters. I'm like, you almost have too many. Um, Specific, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, restrictions that you're blocking out a lot of men that could be a great possibility for yep. you. Wow. So I think it is very true that when you sometimes so narrow-minded, you have to you have to realize that you just might not find that man because he just might not be suiting all your picky filters. Well, yeah. Phaser, what do you have a type? Well, I mean, I think everybody has a type, but I think. 
you know, everyone's so gung-ho on being politically correct yeah. that people sometimes are not just being truly honest. Mm -hmm. We do live in the United States, and race is a big issue. And we can mm -hmm. see right now with the climate of what's going on, right. racism exists. People obviously recognize race. I can't go out and you not know I'm a black woman. Right. And so I think if you are going to have children, you have to consider a lot of factors. My husband's multicultural, black and white. And, I mean, I know that... You know, him being raised, he had difficulties at times, but I know just from all the men that I've dated, I've dated, I think um, I'm an equal opportunity employee. Yes. <laughs> uh, as well. And so, um, <laughs> you know, while I love all the different cultures, you know, when you're getting married, that is important to know if that cultural perspective can blend with what you've been raised to understand. That is very important to you. That's very true. When my mom found out that I was mm -hmm. dating, a white, a white man, uh -huh. my mom had one question for him. She asked, have you ever dated a black woman before? Because mm -hmm. I, want, I want to know that you, I want to know that you know uh, the, Tamara's culture. I, yeah. She has a black mother and you're gonna have to respect that. That's mm -hmm. right now. So, mm -hmm. I appreciated that my mom cared enough. Helen Marin is known for dominating roles, but could it be possible that what she really wanted all along was world domination? Ah. At the L Women in Hollywood event, Helen outlined her five tips for world domination, and we were so obsessed with them, we wanted to share them with you too. Lonnie, you go first. I love go this. Go for it. Number one, never drink alcohol unless you're celebrating something, upset about something, or if it's a day that ends in the letter Y. Ah. <laughs> Drink and never drink when you're driving. That's a great one. Good. Because at the first in the first line, I was like, wait, never drink. Exactly. I'm, like, Yo, I'm with you. I was getting <laughs> sad. Yeah. And then and then she made me happy. Okay, it gets better. Then she guys. made you responsible. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it gets better. Number two, there are no rules about love, but don't be in a rush to get married. Honestly, I married much later in life and it worked out just great. Give your partner the freedom and support mm -hmm. to achieve their ambition. Mm -hmm. Very important. And that goes both ways. I love it. I yeah. love that. We yeah. talked about that. Yes, we did. Number three, at the blackjack table, always split aces, eights, yes. and nines. Believe me, it really improves the odds. Yeah. Wow. That's good to know. I yes. love it. <laughs> and number four, connect with friends daily and not on Facebook. Better to have three great friends than 300 on social media. Oh. oh. one, number five. And finally, ignore anyone who judges the way you look. All day long. Especially if he or she is some anonymous, miserable creep lurking on the internet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, those are some really amazing yeah. tips. Yeah. Now, yeah. I know, I get why she's dominating the world, because with tips like that, you're gonna have a great life. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. do mm -hmm. some great things. Right. Direction. Um, but her list actually got me thinking about what I'd wanna do to gain world domination. Mm. Mm. Now, <laughs> I think you feel most powerful when you are fearless. Mm. Mm. And I think a lot of our fears is what holds us back from doing a lot of the things that we wanna do. So I'm really weird in this way. Uh, I got the nickname worst case scenario once because <laughs> I always think of the worst case scenario. I kinda think maybe my upbringing, my mom is a little bit of a worry wart, so that got put on me a little bit. Mm. Do you think of the worst case scenario too? Or I always do? <laughs> you do. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I wanted to be fearless, so one day I sat down with myself, and I actually do this either like weekly, sometimes monthly, and I'll be like, what is right now in my life the worst thing that could happen? Mm -hmm. mm. And I mentally and emotionally prepare for that thing so that I get over it, so oh. that if God forbid it were to happen, I'm almost freeing myself from it already. Yeah. It's a really weird thing, I know this is a- I feel odd, you. This is a morbid girl chat today. Something like, God forbid your parents passing. Like, that is something a lot of us fear. Like, you're like, oh my God, I don't think I'll be able to handle that. Well, I've made peace with it. I know my mother would want me to go on living a great life. Uh, you know, that sort of thing that I've made peace with. It's weird, but that's what I do. No, I feel like I'm so recommending. Right. Find whatever it is that you are scared about and make peace with it and go on fearlessly. All right. That's Pretty right. Good, eh? Jeannie, what's your tip? Mine is that there's always going to be somebody who doesn't believe in your worth. Mm -hmm. Just don't let it be you. Ooh, I love it. That's, oh, that's, that's all really good. 
There's always some, there's always, you do not have to look far to find a hater right around the block. That is right. But we often get in our own heads. We're the ones doubting ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're the ones that are afraid, like you said, and you gotta yeah. free yourself from that. Mm -hmm. So the, the, you'll find yourself moving so much further in life if you just trust yourself and do like what's right there in your gut and your yes. passion. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel like we got to where we are today, yeah. right? Phaedra, what's your tip? Well, I think treating people as you want to be treated. Ooh, the golden rule. Exactly, because I think the true test of a man is how they treat a person who can do absolutely nothing for them. That is yes. very true. true. So when you are giving out the right energy, it's going to come back to you. Absolutely. You know, what you put out is what you receive. That is yeah. true. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Tim, Tim. Um, my tip was passed down from my lovely grandmother. She is, she will be 89. She oh looks gosh. like she's, I know, I love you so much. She watches the real. She looks like she's in her 60s. All right. And girl. her tip adds years to your life and makes you look younger. She said, live a good, clean life, mm. meaning don't do drugs. Mm -hmm. Don't drink too much, and don't invite negativity and drama into your life. Uh, all right. Keep it clean. Keep a clean conscious. You'll sleep better. Yes. So thank you for that, Grandma Mama. That was a great yeah. one. Yeah. You know, Lonnie. <laughs> I think my Always. tip is when you have a problem, try to find a, the levity in it. You know, laugh mm -hmm. at it. And then while you're laughing at it, you'll realize it's not that serious, and then you'll learn how to solve that problem. I do that all the time. That's true. If I meet a man I don't like, I'm like, oh, I don't like you anyway. to play the game that by now needs very little introduction. You know, the one where you can take home one of the hottest designer items on the scene. That's right, all you have to do is spot it. Without further ado, you know it, we love it, it's time to play Fake It On! <laughs> Today's items up for grabs in each pair is a pricey must-have designer piece mwah, as well as a cheaper mock-off version. We'll bring down some audience members to try and spot the real items. And if they do, it's theirs to keep. <laughs> and if not, they'll go home with one of our priceless t-shirts from the real, right, Tam? Yes. <laughs> Let's do this. Are you ready, audience? Yeah. Okay. All right. Our first audience member is Janae Peters. Oh. Where you at, girl? Oh. Come on down. You are cute. Oh, thank Where you. are you from? You are too. Thank what, you. Michigan. Michigan. Oh, yeah. Michigan. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you think you have a good eye for designer pieces? I do. Do you need to bring something home to Michigan? Yes. All right, okay. Adrian, what you got? All right, if you've been scanning the fashion mags, you know that shimmer and pleats are all the rage right now. Uh -huh. So these metallic pleated skirts check off both of those trend boxes and can be dressed up or down. One of these skirts is designed by Avi Yu and sells for $485. The other is a fake worth 130 bucks. Which would you take? Okay, audience, help her out. One or two, what's the designer piece? Okay, okay, okay. All right, are you ready? Janae, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Is it one or two? It's going to be two. Oh, oh, no. No. It is number one. This was the real skirt, but you still get a t-shirt from the real. Boom. Oh.
can tell. <laughs> yes? Uh, yes. Where I'm are you winner. from? <laughs> from Chino, California. Hey! <laughs> Phaedra, we got a winner right here. Or, what you got? You want an easy way to take your plain dress to the next level? Add a fashionable leather belt with tassels like these here, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, one of these belts is genuine leather designed by Michael Kors, and it sells for $550. Oh. And the other one is a knockoff price at just $24.94. So which one would you take? Okay. Okay, move your hair back. Here we go, ah, you need to breathe. Yes, Help our right. audience, which one is the designer piece? One or two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, you gotta listen to your heart, you gotta oh, listen Lord. to the spirit. Lord. What's it gonna be? I'm gonna say two. Oh! Oh! Maxine Hernandez, where are you at? Okay, okay. Maxine, <laughs> where are you from? Marina Valley, California. California! Oh. Listen up to Tam, because she's oh. got something really good. Okay. Moto boots aren't going anywhere, and this studded version with silver buckles prove it. <laughs> this is a gorgeous shoe that will make anyone feel better chic. One of these pairs is designed by the fabulous oh Givenchy. <laughs> yes. Yes. And sells for, take a breath, I'm gonna need one. Hmm. One thousand three hundred. <laughs> cha ching, cha ching. Yes, the other is a fake that sells for two hundred and eighty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. I'll take that. Which? Okay. I'll take okay. that. Which would you think? think? Audience, she's got to take these boots home. One or two? Which is designer? <laughs> What is the winner? Mm. One oh. or two? I think one. <laughs> Since 2005, our next guest has been feeding the streets with his mixtape series, Trap or Die. <laughs> now he's about to drop his third installment called Trap or Die 3. Give it up for our boy, Jeezy. It's called Oud. It's called Oud. Yeah. Oh, Oud. Oud by Tom Ford? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we the ladies love the Oud. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was the plan. Yeah. I knew where I was coming. <laughs> well, Jeezy, you and I go a long ways back, and right. I had the pleasure of working on your first album. You did. And then what? And I know that I paid a pretty nice coin off of that album. Yeah. <laughs> As you should. As you should. <laughs> That's the plan. And I'm just wondering, what did you do with that first big check you made? Uh, the first big check I made, uh, I didn't spend it for the first year I got it. All right. And I, I saved Smart. it. And um, I bought my mother a house. That's the only thing. Oh, I, I love that. Oh. I love that. Take care of mama. Gotta You're actually it. very big into real estate. Right. You even bought a restaurant for your daughter. Yeah, well, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a partner in the restaurant, but um, you know, I'm in the tangible thing, so I just wanted her to have something 
earlier. She's two. Up. She's two years old. Yes. Yeah. Oh, right. and absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's so you. gorgeous. Thank you. It's why do you, Why do you love real estate so much? I mean, because I'm a hustler. Like, so for me, it's, it's a business. I do, you know, I do music because I love it. Uh -huh. But you have to still have some type of excitement, and I love money. So you know, be that. <laughs> so okay. That and um, it's, it's something that I can do, and, and that I'm, I'm fairly good at. You know. Yeah. Now your last yeah. album, Church in These Streets, right. and Ride or Die, have, <laughs> and, yeah, and Trap okay. or Die have very different sounds. Right. And on this new album, you're going back to the Trap or Die sound. Why yeah. is that? Oh, uh, because that's what you know. You can't. I couldn't give a Martin Luther King when they want the snowman. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and no yeah. disrespect, because that's who I am. And um, I was using my music basically as a, a tool. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To, to touch the people. But yeah. I realized that, you know, give them what they want. And when I get a platform like this and I can talk, I can tell them how I feel. That's awesome. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's why we always like having you, Jeezy, because you will, you always speak your mind. And yeah. last time you were here, right. you were saying that you were supporting uh, Hillary Clinton. Did I say that? You yeah. Got, you got the tape? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. We can play it back, I but like no, is that. that is that still the case though? I'm, I just would definitely not vote for Donald Trump. You know, <laughs> I, I, I personally think the guy's a lunatic. I mean, that's, and that's me. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. But at the same time, I got a, a lot of respect for Hillary because I have a daughter, and she's showing women that you can yes. be any and everything. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So I have a lot of respect for that. Mm -hmm. that but you know what I like? I, like I said, you're a businessman, you're a right. performer, but you're also open and honest. Would right, you ever right. run for politics? No, no, that's no, what... no, 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 no. <laughs> you what? I, I mean, my mother raised me not to lie. You got to do some lying to be a politician. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too, I'm too honest for that. You know what I mean? I, I heard I'll that. mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Recently, Kanye was at a concert in Seattle, and right. allegedly he was saying that Jay Z wasn't there for him after the recent robbery right. that had to do with Kim and that he hadn't been, brought his daughter right. over by the house. You're friends with both of them, right? Right. right. So what do you take of all that? I mean, they're, they're brothers. You got to let brothers work out brotherly stuff. And it's mm. like, they got history together. You got to let them handle it. They grown men. They're going to fix it. They're going to work it out. Um, they're going to get more great news. Mm -hmm. okay. But it awesome. was juicy, though. I, I mean, mean, look, I, I mean, you know, I try not to get into things like that. I try to focus on me <laughs> and what I got going on. But, um, you know, they'll be all right. Well, all right. Good to know. <laughs> Halloween is just a few days away, but it's never too late to spread some spooky spirit around your home. Mm -hmm. No one wants to spend a ton of money on decorations, so we've got some ghoulish ways to trick out your house using treats you already have at home. It's time to haunt your house. House. You guys, what? You won't believe our neighbor Lauren's house. Her Halloween decorations are up. You have to check them out. Oh, Lauren always has the best ones. I know. Okay. Wow. Her Let house... me see. Okay. Shh. She's gonna see us. Oh, Ooh, that's a nice house. Up, and I swear, Ooh. she always has the best decorations ever. She goes mm. all out every holiday. Wow. Where do you think she gets all this stuff, you guys? She must be rich. She yeah. must be rich. <laughs> and I wonder I... who she works for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I bet it takes forever to put all that up. Mm -hmm. You guys, we have to try to beat her this Halloween. Yes. You know what? There has got to be a way to beat her, but not pay a lot of money like she does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right That's on the right. deal. Yeah. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. since I closed up the garden for cold months coming up, I know something that we can make with my tomato cages. You got tomato, tomato. cages? Tomato. Yeah, you really? What? Yes, I do. Come on, you guys. I'll show you. Okay. okay. I have an idea. Okay. This can quickly become a lawn ghost. All right, all you have to do is attach a foam ball to your wire cage, just like this, you guys. You put it on there like that. And then you're gonna take a string of white lights like these, and you're gonna wind them from the top of the cage to the bottom. I'll finish it up right now, just like this. All right, you go around, just like that. Uh -huh. Then you're gonna drape a white twin side sheet over the cage, just like this. Booyah. Then, lastly, you're gonna stick on some eyes and a mouth cut out of adhesive felt, just like this. Oh, so this is wow. the mouth. And easy. Hold up. Yes. There goes the mouth. Get my eyes, and then you're gonna put some eyes on, and there you go, a scary ghost. Adrian, that's awesome. Oh, that is really neat. And that's so inexpensive. Oh. That is so cute. The mouth like that works too. <laughs> that is perfect.
perfect, Adrian. We're really catching up to Lauren. Yes. I think we just need one more thing, yeah, right, ladies? Something nice. Yeah. How about a monster to mix it up? Oh, I got something perfect I can show you guys, okay? We can use extra black felt and green um, material to make a Frankenstein door, all no right? Way. Yeah. Oh, wow. You just cut a rectangular piece of felt for the hair. This is the hair by drawing the zigzag lines and then just cut it out. The kids can help you do that. Yeah. You know, yes. line it out with white chalk like that. Then you you could take white felt, make circles, use the black felt, make you some eyeballs like that. Okay. You know, and then you can make the teeth yeah. by just ah. taking the black felt and construction mm -hmm. paper and the white felt. There's your teeth. And you gotta have some stitches because yes, exactly. it's Frankenstein. Frankenstein. So you just cut up some stitches like this and you stick everything on the floor. Wow. On the Phaedra, door. show them. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> How nice. That is way better Perfect. than Lauren's door. Yeah! Yes, I think we've created a monster. Yes, we have! Yeah. Yeah.